Got a new brush to review from Frank Shaving. We got the Gillette Old Type and Luther Tears. Stay tuned. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. We've got a new brush for review from Frank Shaving. They were nice enough to send me this for review. Nice looking brush, uh, synthetic knot. Nice looking coloring on it. No coin or anything in the bottom, but nice synthetic knot. So we'll see how this does. Soap today is Lothar or Luther, however you like to say it. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that, um, but I believe it's Luther. I don't know. I'm going to call it Lothar Luther. Luther Lothar. Tears. And this is um, lemon, bergamot, mandarin, neroli, jasmine. Um, it smells just like Tom Ford neroli portofino to my nose. So if they weren't going for that, they failed. Nope, very, very nice one. And I'm gonna pair it with Caught She from Murphy and McNeil. This is their Neroli Portofino dupe. And then I'm gonna finish it with, you'll never guess it, Tom Ford, Neroli Portofino. Whew. This may be the last use of that, and I love it. Um, Gillette Old Type, my buddy Fred, wanted me to do a full video with the Gillette Old Type. So I'm going to do that. Um, and this is with a Persona Lab Blue. I haven't used Persona Lab Blue in a long time, and it used to be my go-to blade. So I wanted to revisit it. Um, like I said, it's been a, a good while since I've used it. Um, Fred, by the way, um, has just started a YouTube channel, Fred Shaves. So you can check him out. Um, Fred Hansen, I believe, is, uh, I believe is his last name. And I think he's from Norway, if I'm not mistaken. If I got it wrong, then please comment, Fred. Sorry. Um, but anyway, this is this is a shave for him today. Dedicated to the man, Fred. Uh, good job on your first video, brother. Glad to see that you're doing it. Um, so let me get a little water on my face. I did not soak this Luther soap. You don't need to. It's plenty soft. All right. Get a little water in the brush. And we'll get to loading. This is a morning shave. I've, funny enough, I haven't done a morning shave in a while. Seems like all of my life I've shaved in the morning. And then here over the last, I don't know, six months or so, I've been doing a lot of afternoon and night shaves. So this one I wanted a nice clean shave before going into work this morning. So we're going to do that. A lot of backbone in this knot. All right, I think we're plenty loaded up. Seth, the Jesus of Vegans, you can let me know if I got enough soap and if I'm uh, lathering this correctly. Look, let me just, just paint this in. I'm gonna scrub it. Just to get it on my face. And then I'll start painting A ton of backbone is not This is super dry, so right now I'm not even using the bougie water. I will in a moment. Right now this is so dry, I just wanna get some water into it quickly. I do have to work today, so I don't have all day to lather. Beautiful scent on this. 
Smells just like Neroli Portofino to my nose. A little bougie water. It's not spa bougie water because I forgot to put hot water in there. <laughs> A Gillette Old Type I haven't used in a little bit either. I did use it on a uh, beard trim up. Back during No Shave November. Great razor. Really efficient. Almost 100 years old. Good stuff. Produces a great lather too. Really nice post shave to it. From what I could tell. I haven't used it without an alum block to kill it in the end. Um, and today I will I will not use the alum block. Unless I really rip myself up and then I will see the shine that we're getting there am I doing this right Seth am I getting it joking with my buddy Seth he's a good dude Beautiful low structure lather here. See, there's a ton of water in there. And I think we're going to go with it here. Taste on it. Woo! Bitter. Um, but tastes like the scent of Neroli. I don't know what the taste of neroli is. I've never eaten neroli, which is bitter orange flower, I believe. Like the bloom of a bitter orange flower. Okay. Let's get going. I think we're in good shape here. Just clean up my sink bowl. All right. Happy, uh, what is today? Happy Wednesday. And I'm just going to do a two pass today um, with a cleanup pass. Hope you guys had a great Christmas and New Year's out there. I certainly did. I had some good uh, vacation time during that period. A little chance to relax, reflect, and spend some time with my, you know, especially with my children. Well, I mean, I guess my wife too. Beautiful razor. Such beautiful works of art they were making back there in the early 
1900s, mid 1900s. Why? Why did they change? I guess it doesn't matter now because we have so many good artisans out there. Making razors. And everything for that matter. Hardware, software, all the goodies. The lab blue, maybe not quite as, um, not quite as smooth as I remember it. Not bad though. Sorry, I need an Allen block for my fingers. You guys can check out my shirt of the day. My shirt and tie of the day. Did you get it? Yeah, that's it. Soap is so slick, I can't hardly keep a grip on my razor, which is usually a recipe for not success. Beautiful shave so far. I say the blade's not as smooth as I remember it, but you know, I am using a 1920s open comb. That's pretty efficient, so. Maybe that's not a fair judgment. Still enjoyable, nonetheless. All right, great first pass. Thick, beautiful lather there. This brush is doing a good job. Performing as you expect. Definitely, definitely was easy to lather. Good brush, in my opinion. All right. South to north. Not as efficient as the Mula R41, but I didn't expect that. Well, since I already own the razor, I should already know how it shaves, right? It has been a while though, very nice razor. I recommend if you can find one on eBay or you know, antique store or whatever, uh, definitely get one. They all have some sort of little crack in the handle. And I've got one small one right there and then one small one, small one right here. Um, hard to see, doesn't affect the performance at all. 
Um, but it's near impossible to find one that does not have a crack right there. Just a manufacturing flaw. Yet, you know, 100 years later, I'm still shaving with it, so I guess the flaw wasn't too bad. Certainly forgivable. Beautiful soap. Fantastic scent. Neroli Portofino is one of my absolute favorite summertime freshy scents. It is very high on the list. Wonderful Neroli that, you know, I don't think lean's feminine, but um, some say that. I don't know. I can wear it. My wife can wear it. We both love it. Mustache hair is so tough. My buddy Fred shaves um, his first video was a beard off, and it was like a two month beard. So it's it's nice he did it with the Moolah R forty one. It's a great watch if you want to check it out. I think he did a nice job. And it's satisfying watching that much hair come off at one time. I think we're doing pretty good. Just a quick little cleanup. Just a couple little spots. And I'll go ahead and strip this out. Beautiful leather. Look at that. Well hydrated. Super shiny. Hair kind of grows in a swirl right there. That's beautiful. Get my little problem area here if I can. That's it. It's perfect. Fantastic shave. Thanks, Fred, for suggesting that razor. I haven't used that in a while and totally enjoyed it. All right. No alum today. One 
couple of spots right there. I felt that when I pulled up and got there. Um, my grip kind of went away and I got that little spot right there, but just a couple little bitties. Cold water rinse. Oh, yeah, it feels great. My Lancaster tail. Nice sheep's wool shaving towel. Oh. Ah, beautiful. Birdiful. All right. Caught she, Murphy and McNeil. Um, very nice scent, but very alcoholy um, up front. Like unruly alcoholy. But once the alcohol scent burns off, it is very nice. Nice, strong, neroli. Extra bright with the lemon, bergamot, mandarin. A really nice one. And finish off with Tom Ford, neroli, portofino. Mm. Little spot right there. Well, here. Just hang on, take another ride. I haven't used this yet, so let's do it. Let's see how, how she works. This is um, Pinot, I think. I think it's a, called a Clubman, I think. A little water here. Might as well use it for you guys if you haven't used one before show you how it works just a little water on it Woo! and it definitely burns more than alum Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. may make me sneeze <coughs> Woo! that is the stuff wow Holy moly. Woo. Glad I got to show you that. I'm not glad I had to use it. <laughs> All right. Let me wipe this down real quick. Whew. That stuff is fiery. Mm -hmm. Just kind of give it a blot. Did stop it though. Got a couple little spots down here too. No big deal. All right, Tom Ford and the Roly Portofino. I love this stuff. I have to lean the container to get more on me. Ah, oh, that's so good. It's such a great freshie. Even though it's super cold here today, I don't care. I want something fresh that I enjoy. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Hope you have a fantastic day. Um, Instagram. Friday night, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, the One Chip Challenge. Me, my wife, uh, Nate and Mel from BBS Live, and One Sharp Sally, Lindsay from um, Instagram also. We're all going to eat the One Chip, and we're doing it to raise money for St. Jude's Cancer, uh, Children's Cancer Research. So please join us. It's going to be awesome. See ya.